Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about something that can really impact the journey of a lot of traders, new traders especially, and those who are struggling and don't know what to do next. So this video is going to be shorter than my usual ones, but believe me, it's going to be very, very important and it can really change the course of your journey. So make sure to stick around till the end. And if you find this content helpful, consider to leave a like. Now, the topic that I want to talk about is why the traditional process of becoming a consistent trader might not be the best or the most efficient way to reach your goals. So in fact, I believe that there is a faster and more effective path to achieve consistency in trading. When we look at the standard process, it usually goes like this. First of all, learning concepts, right? So a new trader begins by learning certain concepts, whether it is price action, like naked price action, wave analysis, like Elliott Waves, Wyckoff, or whatever method they choose. So this is like putting on a specific pair of glasses to view the market through, right? So we are all looking at the same market, but with a different perspective. Now, after learning the concepts and after a few months of collecting examples, studying charts, now the trader will either develop a simple, logical strategy based on what he learned, or he will find an existing one and adopt it to their trading style, right? After that is the backtesting process. Make sure that the strategy actually works. It has a statistical edge over the years, right? And it will, and this will help you see whether the strategy is going to work on the long run or not. Now, here's where the problem begins. So moving on to the next phase, which is the demo phase, right? So that the standard approach is to demo trade for five or six months and you need to be consistent in these periods before you go live. But here's the thing, many traders find, find that as soon as they transition from demo to live trading, it feels like they have forgotten everything they have learned all those months. Why is that? Well, because demo trading doesn't properly simulate the psychological pressure of real money on the line, right? So many traders will tell you that it wasn't the technicals that took them years to master, it was the psychology of trading, right? I believe that every professional trader will see will say the same thing, right? So once they go live, their emotions get in the way, leading to mistakes, losses, and a lot of times, a lot of instances quitting trading for good. For me, the better approach is that instead of going to demo trading, you now have two options. They all serve the same purpose, but you have two options. The first one is you you will either open a small live account, right? It can be $100, even $50, it doesn't matter. Just use a really small account, right? The second thing, the second option is to buy cheap evaluation accounts. There are firms like Apex, Bolnox, like they have like 14 bucks evaluations. Now, the key here is that you are not trying to make money. I repeat, you are not trying to make money, right? So this is an alternative to demo trading. You're using these accounts to simulate a real trading environment and learn how to handle your emotions and reactions when real money is at stake, even though it's just a small account and you are risking too little. Now, the issue with demo accounts is that they don't trigger the same emotional responses as live trading, right? I believe you all agree with this. Even if you are risking a tiny amount in these small live accounts, you will still feel something which is crucial for your growth as a trader. Real money creates emotional reactions like anxiety or excitement, and you won't experience that in a demo trading. Now, these reactions are very important 
because they will help you to identify psychological patterns, weaknesses, flaws that need to be addressed, right? So when you practice with small live accounts, you will experience those, again, emotional reactions, and that will force you to pay attention to your behavior, your decision-making, and how your emotions affect the execution of your strategy. So that's something you won't get in a demo environment, right? So again, your goal is to not make money. Your goal is to work on your psychology and work on your executions. So technicals, technical errors are often related to psychological errors. And your job is to find that connection and to work on that aspect of trading. And doing that on live accounts or small live accounts, cheap evals, right? It will really speed up the process. If your goal, if your end goal is to, or your next goal is to work with prop firms, so it's better to go with evaluation accounts. If you want to go personal later on, right? After you reach consistency in this phase, of course, you're going to go with a small live account. That's in, that is entirely your choice. So... Again, you're risking very little money. Again, you're not trying to make money. Don't use 1%. Don't use half a percent. Use 0.25. You want to keep that account as long as you can. So mistakes won't cost you much, but you get to feel the psychological pressure of trading life. Now, when real money on the line, your learning process becomes more focused. You will quickly recognize things like why you entered a trade early, why you exited too soon, or why you deviated from your plan. A question might arise to the surface is that what is the difference right here between this and what a lot of traders did in their beginnings. So a lot of traders skipped the demo phase and went straight to live trading. So what is the difference right here? So the big difference right here is that those traders jump into live accounts early with the goal of making money. They are not ready for that. And that's where everything falls apart. They become obsessed with how much they are making or how much they're going to lose. And this will really cloud your judgment. And they eventually start focusing on their performance, what they need to adjust, what they need to work on. And they start chasing profits, of course, which leads to emotional trading and or decision making and they say that mistakes will make you um, better stronger these mistakes right here they won't make you anything but worse because you are not actually learning from them and your anxiety is too high to even identify these mistakes that you are making right so with this method, the method that I suggested, your goal is not to make money or object. your objective is to learn about yourself, refine your strategy and minimize the psychological errors. So you are focusing on executions here, executing flawlessly and that comes by time. And you are building a solid foundation for when you eventually trade larger accounts. But the environment here is absolutely identical to the environment in large accounts only the risk factor will increase right so to summarize things up and end this video i really encourage you to try this method and it will feel uncomfortable at first because even though you are risking small the emotional reactions will be real and those reactions are voluble again remember that they are signals that tell you what psychological hurdles need to be addressed so this practice will help you execute your strategy flawlessly now if you try this out if you give it a shot let me know how it goes reach out to me on twitter or or leave a comment below and i'm confident that if you follow this approach with discipline you will see real progress now i believe that this is the end of this video thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave them on the comments or dm me in my twitter account as always and I will reply to you as soon as I can. Now I'll be trading and good luck.